everyone and thank you for tuning in to my channel we are going to be doing a cooking with Kristen video where I want to be making stuffed bell peppers this is a very easy and simple recipe it does take a little bit of time but it's not a hard recipe at all I am using ground turkey but you can use ground beef I am using Hunt's tomato sauce sour cream taco seasoning Spanish rice and I have some red bell peppers now you can use any brand that you like you don't have to use any of this and you can basically put any type of ingredients in to stuff bell peppers but this is a very easy recipe um, I wanted to make it just to show you guys and I have red bell peppers you can use green you can use orange yellow whichever ones you prefer orange and yellow are sweet ones just so you know so uh, let's get started first what you are going to do is you are going to preheat your oven to 350 degrees because you are going to cook your stuffed bell peppers in the oven so while that is preheating we are going to get the rest of our food ready Now what I've done here is I've put my Spanish rice into my rice cooker and I am going to end up moving this rice to a pot later because <laughs> my rice cooker was not operating properly but this is the brand of my rice cooker. It's an aroma rice cooker. You can steam vegetables in here at the top also. White rice, brown rice, steam and you can do to keep warm after you're done. So this was me just putting my rice into the rice cooker and this is the seasoning that comes with the rice that you also put inside the rice cooker so this is heating up a little bit right now next what I am going to do or what you're going to do is you're going to put this ground turkey into the skillet and cook it until it's golden brown the way you cook ground turkey is the same way you cook ground beef no difference and so I am just smashing this all up so there's no huge chunks The you know the trick to it or the easy thing to do is just basically break all of this apart so it all cooks evenly you don't have any huge chunks that way you have a lot more food than just having it all stuck together so i am just stirring this while it's getting hot so it cooks evenly and then what i'm going to do is get this old el paso taco seasoning i got this at walmart it's great for just adding um you know taco seasoning to your stuff i mean to your meat and it's cheaper than buying the seasoning packets because you get a lot more in here which means you save money in the long run and I was having a little bit of difficulty because a lot of this was like stuck together so <laughs> I was pounding on this um, taco seasoning and what you're going to do after you add some more I think I might have a little too much oh my god um, you're also going to add water to this because if you don't add water you're going to get a powdery taste so what I'm going to be doing right now is just adding you know a couple of cups of water to this um, that way the water soaks up the seasoning a little bit and it has a more taco flavor not a powdery flavor and then once you're done you're going to stir this until the powder and the meat is mixed in there evenly and you're just going to let it cook for a while you're going to let it cook until it gets about a golden brown uh, or a dark brown whichever you prefer and that's basically it when it comes to cooking this ground turkey while the ground turkey is cooking and while the rice is cooking, we are going to cut these peppers. Now, you can easily just cut the tops off of here or you can cut these in half. What I did is I cut the tops of the pepper off. That way it sits up like a cup instead of sitting down like a bowl. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna see all this stuff in here, you're gonna clean all of that stuff out. And so what you're gonna do is you can use a knife or you can use your hands and what I did is I got the bulk of this out with a knife and what you can do is just take all this out with your hand and I am going to pound on it a little bit to make sure all the seeds are out and you're gonna make sure it's empty just like this there's nothing in the inside and that's basically all you do when it comes to taking out the insides of your stuffed pepper of the pepper not the stuffed pepper it's not stuffed yet and so what I did here is just use my hand it's very easy there's no complication when it comes to it very easy to take all of the guts out of the pepper and there we go two empty bell peppers now this meat is cooking as you can see it's a brown color and what I am going to do is dump the can of tomato sauce in here the Hunt's tomato sauce um, is going to give that you know that 
really good um, taco feel, for lack of a better word. And I bought two cans of this, but you really only need one can of this. And what I bought was a three pound um, pack of ground turkey. So that should let you know as far as how much taco sauce you need. And you're just gonna let stir this up and let it cook. It's a little liquidy, so you're gonna let this thicken up a little bit. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a lid over this and let it cook and let it get a little bit more thicker. Now at this point I have moved my rice <laughs> to a pot because my rice cooker just did not want to heat up. And so I'm going to put it in a pot and just cook it the same way. I've added a little bit of water to this um, so it can thicken up and everything. And you can see it's already started to thicken up a little bit in the rice cooker. So it didn't really have much more cooking to go. And with rice you want to make sure it doesn't stick so I'm just stirring it right now. Now we are checking on this ground turkey and the tomato sauce. And as you can see, it's thickened up quite a bit. And what I'm doing right here is you're going to pour the rice into the ground turkey. You're gonna mix this all up and this is gonna give you a ton of food. I actually cooked way too much rice and ground turkey, but that is quite all right. Uh, me and my husband would just snack on this by itself, or I can easily go to the store and buy more peppers. It's not a big deal, but there's a lot of food in here. And so you should just know that don't underestimate the amount of meat with the rice because once you put them together, it's going to make a ton of food. And so what I'm doing right now is just stirring up everything while the fire is still on a little bit so it can cook together and the flavoring from the rice can go in the meat and the flavoring from the meat can go into the rice. And so next what I am going to do is I am going to take this pot to the counter so I can stuff these peppers. And I put these peppers in a Pyrex baking dish because this is going to go into the oven. Now what I'm gonna do right here is I am going to stuff these peppers with the mixture. And it's very simple to do. You just take the spoon and stuff it right in there. And then I stuffed it all the way to the top. You can put as much or as little in here. You can make it sloppy and make it overflow. Or you can put a little bit and add something on top, whatever you really want to do. The choice is really yours. And you can really make these any type of way you want. This is just the most simple recipe. You can also use, make breakfast out of these by putting an egg in here with some ham and some cheese and cook it in the oven and have a really nice, healthy breakfast. And there we go, we have all these stuffed. And what I'm gonna do next is get some cheese. I should have had it out already. But I'm going to the refrigerator to get some, so a mix a blend of different cheeses. And here it is right here. It's the Fiesta Blend Cheese. Uh, I figured since it's a Mexican style dish, I would get a Mexican style cheese. And I am a person where I love a ton of cheese. The more cheese on here, the better. <laughs> so I am putting the cheese on top and you don't have to be neat with this. You can be sloppy or whatever. So I am just going to pile all of this cheese on top of here. Look how much cheese that is. I mean, is there such thing as too much cheese? Um, you can mix the cheese in if you want or you can just lay it on top. Like I said, you can really make this however you want to make it. So what I'm doing is I'm putting cheese on top and I'm just putting my hand in the cheese over and over again. But I love cheese. More and more cheese, like really crispy. <laughs> but it's all good. So next what I'm going to do is I am going to open the oven that has already been heating up for a while and I'm going to put these in the oven and they are going to cook for about 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, they are all done. And look how delicious these look. And I can tell you, they were absolutely delicious. And there's your stuffed bell pepper recipe. Very, very simple. I have all the directions and everything right below in the description box in case you want to make this yourself. If you do, let me know and let me know if you liked it. And I will see you guys all next time. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any suggestions for a video, let me know. And I will see you all next time. Bye.